my name is Nicole Williams, and I'm the founder of Jamaica We Care. Jamaica We Care is a non-for-profit organization that was founded to provide medical care in Jamaica for children zero to age five and pregnant mothers. So we're here at Jamaica We Care second annual fundraiser. This fundraiser is focusing on us raising enough funding to actually go to Jamaica and provide our medical mission for next year. The last event has raised over $2,000 and we knew that we needed to raise more money so that we can provide, buy medical supplies and be able to afford to take medical professionals to Jamaica to provide the care that these children and mothers need. HIV and AIDS remains a key component of the problem for health in the Caribbean and in Jamaica as well. There continues to be an upward trend in the rate of infection, with Jamaica recording an adult prevalence of 1.6%. And if you listen to the age ranges that are being affected from 10 to 24, that's very young. And in that age range, you tend to listen more to what your friends are telling you than what your parents are telling you. So one of the big takeaways is that when it comes to medical missions, not only are you trying to work with people that have diseases, but you're trying to dispel the things that they've heard. Anyone here has ever gone on a medical mission? Okay. Now, a medical mission, as you know, takes place all over the world, but I happen to have done mission in Jamaica and in Guyana. And I have to tell you, until you have done one, it's the most rewarding time of your life. When we go to these underserved areas, for the first time, those persons feel like they're getting private care. Because I know personally, I sit next to that person when I'm working with them. And one patient actually said to me, nurse, you're really sitting next to me? You know what that meant? Because when she goes to the clinic, she might be sitting here and the nurse is all the way over there. That means a lot to those people. One of the major causes of health issues is poverty. Can you imagine that there are some parishes in Jamaica that have no health facilities at all? So think about it. Most of us, when we are sick or have an emergency and we call 911, 10 minutes later, when the ambulance is not there, we are ready to call Channel 11. Like we need to report somebody, right? But now think about it. You're a mother with a child. This is actually true that it's having an asthma attack and she had to go two hours to seek for help, praying along the way that her child will make it. So in cases like this, this is where Jamaica We Care wants to go. They want to reach those areas. They want to hold health fairs in those areas. They want to have wellness visit in those areas. They want to educate people in those areas. They want to educate the women who are the foundation of, of their family's health to give them the tools that they need. I just want to give you an overview of who I am and how I'm connected to Jamaica We Care. I'm an African American, my family's from Georgia, and like, just like if they were migrating from Jamaica, they came here for opportunity, for resources. There wasn't enough in Georgia for them. New York wasn't very good to my family initially. It really wasn't, and it was hard, and they, it almost took the whole family out. So I stand before you as a survivor. I stand before you as someone who's lost both parents to drug and addiction. I stand before you as educated black woman. But the only reason why my narrative is different from my mother's narrative is because of those resources. Those resources. Because there wasn't a Jamaica We Care, but there was something like a Jamaica We Care. When I come out here, it's because someone gave to me and I have no choice but to play it forward. I can tell you right now, with SNAP, but we call it SNAP now, but when I was on it, it was food stamps. It was PA, right? It was subsidized housing, right? It was SEEK. I don't know if any, any CUNY people, anybody know about SEEK, EOP? Okay, hello, hello. That's Jamaica We Care. That's what Jamaica We Care is. It's a subsidy, it's the, it's the help. So I stand before you knowing exactly who I am, exactly where I come from, and knowing that you all have a shared experience, a shared story with me. The infrastructure, 
the systems that a third world country has in place, it just isn't enough. It's not that these are lazy people. It's not that they don't want to do it. It's not that they can't do it. It's that they just don't have the resources. They don't have the affordability to be able to do it. And that's where we come into place. Very, very pleased with the crowd and the type of support that is being given to Jamaica We Care. So I appreciate the help and moving forward, I hope we can have more successful ones.